Oh shit! There's a locking bar. What that do? That's a Foz Tech Echo. Oh, that does the same thing as what the FRT15 does. How about that? Whoa, 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 slow motion. Pew, 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 pew. That's a Foz Tech Echo. You know, just shooting fast, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing something that everybody else isn't seeing. Am I seeing something? I don't cycle know. of operation. All semi-automatic firearms have eight <laughs> steps that occur during the cycle of operation. Those steps are firing, unlocking, extracting, ejecting, cocking, feeding, chambering, and locking. Two! It's one handed. Seems a very secure platform. No no troubles there, huh? Good thing it's good thing it's ATF approved to have that rickety stuff. Now, this, this is something I like to mention, like people that are worried about, we well, don't want them to be able to be accurate with their gun if they're going to commit a crime. Yeah, because unless there's somebody's after you, you want them to be accurate with the gun so that they don't accidentally shoot you. But here's the stupidity of, of, of the anti-rights crowd. Let's make it to where we're defenseless and let's make it to where whatever anybody does have is as rickety and is sure to end up shooting in every direction other than where they're pointing. Genius. And now for Genius the FRT. Morons. With the bolt locked, round in the chamber, and safety off, the cycle of operation begins as the shooter squeezes the trigger. The round fires. As the round passes the gas port, most of that gas is vented through the gas tube and begins the process of sending the bolt to the rear. When that process starts, the bolt unlocks. The empty brass is then extracted from the chamber and ejected from the firearm. As the bolt moves to the rear, it cocks the hammer, which is the point in the cycle of operation where our FRT is different from a standard mil-spec trigger. In our patented design, as the bolt cocks the hammer, the hammer forces a reset on the trigger, which pushes the shooter's finger forward. Simultaneously, as the trigger is forced into a reset, the locking bar pivots into position, mechanically locking the trigger, preventing it from functioning again until the cycle of operation is complete. As the spring behind the buffer pushes the bolt forward, a new round is stripped from the magazine. That new round is then forced into the chamber. As the bolt closes and locks into place, that locking bar disengages, which allows for the cycle to be repeated. Y con esta cosita que se llama el fuego del diablo, lo pones detrás del gatillo y puedes tirar automático. Why are we taking people's property away again? There's the FRT-15 and the 3MR both, both doing that forced reset play, not picking up on that disconnector, right? You know, because right amount of pressure, you can just keep riding that reset. But, the, but reality doesn't matter. None of this matters, right? It don't matter. None of this matters. Have fun.